What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be building you guys a $400 APU wizard themed PC with a dedicated graphics card. Now before I get to the parts, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making these kind of videos in the future. Now with that being said, let's get to the parts. For the CPU, I am using this Ryzen 3 3200G that I got on Craigslist for $150. It may not be the best deal out there in the market, but I got this brand new in box. And I always wanted to try out one of the Ryzen APUs, so I just quickly snatched it up. Now this little APU has 4 cores and 4 threads and 8 CPU cores. It has a base clock of 3.6GHz and a max boost clock up to 4.0 GHz. Even though the name says 3200G, it is not Zen 2, and in fact it is based off of Zen Plus. So you are not going to get the same level of performance as a Ryzen 3 3100. And from what I heard, the integrated graphics on this little APU is actually really good for what it is. Sadly, I did not make a gaming performance comparison with the graphics card I'm using for today's build. Now for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte B450M DS3H that I got off Facebook Marketplace for $50. It's a pretty basic AM4 motherboard that uses 8-pin CPU power. And it supports up to 4 RAM slots so it makes it easier for you to upgrade in the future. Also, if you update the BIOS on this motherboard, I would say this board can handle up to a Ryzen 5 5600X. As for the RAM, I was able to snatch this kit of 16GB of Team Group Vulcan DDR4 memory clocked at 2400MHz at CL14 for $70. Since Ryzen CPUs like faster memory, I was able to overclock this kit of RAM to 3000MHz at CL16. Now for the operating system drive, I was able to get this 120GB SSD from AliExpress for $22. You could find tons of different brands of SSDs at the capacity of 120GB for around $20 to $30 delivered to your door. Of course, I will leave a link down in the description for this specific one I bought. Like I said in my other videos, 120GB should be good enough as a beginner level operating system drive. In fact, in my original personal rig, I started out with a 120GB SSD. Now before I continue the video, go follow this dude on Twitch, I don't know. He's, he's good at Valorant, and uh, here, here's a clip. Anyways, back to the video. Now for the main storage, I decided to go with this 500GB hard drive that I got off Facebook Marketplace for $20. Like I said in my other videos, 500GB is what you should at least start out with when you first build your system. Now for the power supply. I actually scrapped this 600 watt power supply from one of the PCs I bought, so I'm just gonna count it as $20. 600 watt is more than good enough to power today's system, even with the graphics card included. Now for the graphics card, I'm gonna pair it up with the Ryzen 3 3200G. I got this GTX 1052GB card for $100 off Facebook Marketplace. This graphics card does not require any 6 or 8 pin in order to run it. Which is why it might perform a little bit worse than a regular GTX 1050. Now for the Funko Pop of choice, I decided to go with Dumbledore from Fantastic Beast 2. I decided to pick this Funko Pop because I wanted to make a wizard themed PC. And also because I had 3 blue LED fans laying around and blue is usually associated with wizards, I think. Don't judge me. Anyways, I was able to snag this Funko Pop for $10 off Facebook Marketplace. Now for the case that's gonna hold all the components in, I have this MB320L from Cooler Master that I got for $65 off Amazon. Since I took the two ARGB fans from this case and put it in last week's video, I decided to put three blue LED fans in the front so I could have a wizard themed PC. In my opinion, this case is actually really good for the price. It has really good build quality and it has decent airflow. The only downside to this case is that it only supports up to a MATX motherboard. Now let's pull up a price tally for today's build and get to the time lapse, then the benchmarks. Cause they know Brit and Mo, I hit 
the light on my mile Roll up gelato and throttle A couple models to Kyle Who fucking brought up the bottle Some gone ham This ain't even luck all planned Y'all know who the fucks I am Burning bucks, smoke bands Always been the MO since the start of this And now I'm on a mission like I'm Artemis Ay. We gon' turn the crib into a club like Hennessy and Buddha screaming thug life Get it baby, you know I'm the plug right Fuck, you gotta feel it, but it's gonna be a long night Up in the day, I gotta make it right. 18 of those, I'm in the cave. I gotta make some light, make it hype. Even if we break a night, and even if things go left, we gotta make them right. Chillin' with mine, we triple up, they on the double up, triple dub. Came from the basement, we only going up. They loving us. Up in the booth, I'm getting dizzy, but they the cup is up. Toast to my people that's wanna come up, and you live with us. Ain't all about the trick of us. Looking at my watch, your spirit bomb, both hands is going up. We going coast to coast with us. See the flows is flowing, overflowing. Yeah, the cup it runneth over, tight the wave up in the ocean. Ah. We gon' turn the crib into a club like Hennessy and Buddha screaming thug life Get it baby, you know I'm the plug right But we got a feeling that it's gonna be a long night <laughs> Alrighty, now with the PC build, let's get to the benchmarking section. For today's video, I will just be showing you guys a montage instead to keep the video short. I can show you what love is supposed to feel like. I can show you what love is supposed to be. I can show you what love is supposed to feel like. Overall, today's PC build was not the best price to performance PC I've built ever on this channel. But that was not the point of today's video. Today's video is just me tr testing out the Ryzen 3 3200G paired up with the GTX 1050. And as you can see in the benchmark montage, the CPU and GPU were at almost 100% most of the time. Which means that I would not go any higher than a GTX 1050 with the CPU. If you want to go outside and build yourself a PC like this, I would strongly recommend you to wait until you can find a Ryzen 3 3200G for $100 or a Ryzen 5 3400G for $150. Now with that being said, if you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, still give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because you're nice. I hope. <laughs>